Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. How are you doing? I am Minnesota Sue. I am having a blast, you guys, back to the gardening. I'm not sure if you're like me, but I thought I'd quick hop on and give you guys one quick tip. I'm not going to take your whole night up. So just wanted to pop on and talk about this tip that I came up with. Um, so not sure if you guys like to. Hey, Lucas, welcome. I like to get my blooms off to a fast start. So what do I do? I buy the granular stuff that you mix in with the, the dirt when you're planting, right? So you don't have to constantly be giving them some good nutrients to make the flowers bloom bigger, right? So you make things a little easier on yourself. Well, what about when you're first starting? The roots are great. They're covered, right? Hey, Darlene. Well, tonight when I was watering some of my plants, I was like, you know, I don't like it when you get those big old spider webs that wrap around some of the branches or the leaves, right? So what did I come up with? Well, to give them a quick boost, I take, I call it the miracle plant food, but it's really not my miracle plant food. It's an organic um, crystal blend that I just took water and put it in here. I put like a half a teaspoon and later on I can come on here and tell you the brand I got, but I got it from my um, gardening center. And then what I did is one drop of peppermint. So you guys, all you need is one drop of peppermint in those granulars, then add the water, shake it up good. And I went outside and I sprayed all my plants down. Why did I do this? It's not going to harm any of those other bugs that are good for your plants. It's just gonna keep those blooming spiders away that like to eat away at the bottom of it, the aphids, that, all those kind. It'll keep them away. So this is just one little quick tip. You guys, I had filled this up about maybe 15, 20 minutes ago went out and sprayed all my freshly planted flowers and thought that's it. After I saw a big old spider web wrapped around one of my painting plants, I was like, this, this spider is not going to eat my plant up. It's not going to, you know, cause it to go gross. So that's what I did. I went out and sprayed all of them just quick. Just take your favorite um, uh, quick fast blooming um, nutrients, whatever brand you buy, and then just add, like I did with the granulars, just half a teaspoon, filled it up with water, like I said, and then one drop of peppermint on the granulars and shake it up good once the water's in there so that it blends well. And so when you spray the leaves, under the leaves, over the leaves, edges, on the dirt, you've got that little bit of peppermint in there. Oh gosh, wouldn't you know, <laughs> you just got in from supervising out there. Yeah, my husband actually helped me move my um, big old ceramic, uh, ceramic, what am I talking? Hey, Ruth, <laughs> welcome. Um, he just helped me haul my big old cement stone birdbath from one right by the door way over to the other, other end of the house. So what I did is filled it with dirt and the grandkids had played the, with the fairies and the fairy houses and stuff. So I'm going to keep that there down at the end of the corner of the house right by the play set so the kids are close by it. And then um, I put in a three-tiered planter right there. So it's going to be fun, a little bit change, but lots of fun, right? Hey, Ruth, how are you doing? Are you doing some fun blooming um, plant blooming, fun stuff with your plants. Like, tell me what kind of tips and stuff you guys have. I just shared with what I do for this, but I'll just re-wrap it up and then I'm going to let you guys go because I could be here all night talking about this. But all I did is I took some organic um, crystals, half a teaspoon to one, which, you know, depends on how much you want your plants to bloom and um, grow. But it's an organic mix that I got from my um, plant store. The gardening center and then I put one drop of peppermint and then I took water and I filled it up and I went out and sprayed all my new plants and flowers that have um, been planted out in front in my pots and stuff and I sprayed them all down and then the top of the dirt after I watered them just so that I'm not you know washing out all that um, peppermint but it's just to keep the spiders away the aphids all that kind of junk because I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes those spiders like to wrap and weave all around your plant and it, then they get those um, wormy mealy things in them and then they're disgusting to try get rid of, right? They just like seem to multiply overnight. I haven't had a problem this last year, but the year before I did. So that's why I was like, you know, I've got to try this trick. Super easy. Already stuff I bought, right? And um, finished up planting those. Now I just got to go get a couple more big pots um, 
Um, I got to get a few more petunias, the red, white, and blue petunias, like I do every single year, and then um, to plant around the edge, and then I get the. Um, oh my gosh, why am I blanking out? Not hydrangeas. I've got the hydrangeas going. Um, oh my gosh, what is the plant? And then I got a call right in the middle, wouldn't you know? But those big red flowers, I'm just like blanking out. I think I've been too much in the sun. Just kidding. But um, yeah, so. <laughs> it'll come to me. I put one in the basement and over the winter, you guys I only watered it like two or three times and it came back and it actually had flowers on it all winter. And then it came back like really nice green, more um, growth on it. And so then that's another thing that I went out and sprayed because I was like, I want this baby to grow like crazy and have lots of pretty blooms on it. My dahlias in the front are really beginning to pop. I think I had only one for about a week. And all of a sudden, I've got like five or six popping geraniums. Yeah, why? I knew it was a G. And all of a sudden, I'm like blanking out. Yes, my bright red geraniums. They're so pretty. So, yeah, I should have taken some pictures and showed, you know, the proof here that I started those. Or I had one geranium plant I kept from last year in the in the basement just like my uncle here used to do and I thought okay I've never done this before I'm going to try it and I only want remember I'm so bad you guys I only remember to water it two or three times this last year even my son was like <clears throat> mom that is crazy amazing that plant survived and so yeah so I kind of chuckled and amazingly I had red blooms all winter on it didn't matter it just kept growing but it got kind of scraggly but it actually is coming with more blooms on it now so it's kind of fun so yeah that's all I did was just spray this on there and I'm gonna let you guys go so you can watch the replay without me having to say it a third time now <laughs> I'm known to repeat things but thanks for watching and if you have any questions I actually I'll put the um, recipe right up above so you guys don't have to keep watching it over and over to get it right oh gosh darn, I didn't even realize it written Oh yeah, nope, I, I ended up, I got Bible class in too, and I also, you're going to laugh at this, but I actually got a grad sale in too. Me and Ben popped in the car and went to a neighborhood grad sale. <laughs> we had fun. I didn't find anything, but Ben did. Anyway, talk later. Have a good night, you guys.